Hello everyone. Today let's see how to use inverting summer in the LT spice and simulate the waveforms by giving inputs v in one, v in two, and note down v out. So v out is given by the formula as shown here minus r2 by r3 into v1 minus r2 by r4 into v2. So this circuit diagram will tell you how to sum the two signals by providing the gain. Here as you can see here R2 and R3 will cancel out as we assume equal values of resistance R2 is equal to R3 is equal to R4. So R2 by R3 will cancel out and you'll get only V1 and here also R2 by R4 will cancel out and you'll get only V2. So ultimately V out is equal to minus of R2 minus minus of V in 1 and minus of V in 2. So now let's see how uh, this works. We have to simulate this in the LT spice and we will see the result. So open the LT spice. So here is the LT spice. So here you need to create a new schematic. So let's create the schematic. So we will use the op amp that is uh, can just select here OP07. OP07 is the op amp that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the resistors. So if uh, it's more delete all these, and okay, we will use only one of the op amp. And I need the uh, resistors here. So click here. And resistors direction you can choose by using control R. You want it to the inverting terminal. So two resistance I will use R1. And here I'm going to use R2 and R3. Okay, so we can move this later. So, yeah. So we can use this uh, hand symbol to move around. Okay. Another, so let me rearrange these uh, components so let me drag it so I want my R3 to be here and I want R2 to be here uh, maybe we can rearrange this R3 to the inverting side here So, okay, now uh, I need some inputs, so we need to add inputs, so just click here and say voltage, get here voltage, so use this voltage, one is V in 1 and V in 2. Also, we need supplies for this OP07, positive supply, also one more negative supply. Let me connect it over here. That's it. I will just move this little aside. Okay. Yeah. So, now. So I need to join this so you can have a wire here so use this wire and join these R1 and R2 together 
as per the schematic just look at the schematic how you want it so you want this uh, v in 1 and v in 2 to be connected to two resistors and then connected to the inverting terminal so i'll be following the same thing so i'm going to give it to the inverting terminal and r3 is connected to the inverting and r The other end is supposed to go to V out and V in 1 should be given here and V in 2 should be given to R2 and I will connect these terminals of input to a common point and obviously that is ground. So now Okay, so I need to uh, put the ground as well here. So use this ground here, one more ground, and I need also plus terminal to be grounded, and also the supply to be grounded. So I will use three grounds. So obviously, all are same. Okay, so now take a wire again and connect this plus to this point and uh, this is my negative supply will go to minus and the other is a positive supply so let me put it somewhere else okay Okay. And then this point, bring it here, connect it. Now obviously, these two points I will connect it to all negatives are connected to a common point. Okay, so we are done the connections. So, as per the schematic over here, so we connected V in one to these two resistors input and R2 so labeling if you want to change you can have the same labeling as well so for that you need to right click over here so and you can choose the the resistance value so this is 2.2k and uh, this is also 2.2k and R3 is also 2.2k Okay, so all the values are same, 2.2k, 2.2k and so this is 1k, sorry. So this is actually 1k is given. So, but if you want to get uh, inverting summer with the uh, equal values, obviously it has to be, so it is R2 by R3. And if you keep it equal, we get a uh, exact sum of V1 and V2. Okay. So let me set this voltage first. So we can put a DC value. You want a plus 12 volts, then just keep 12 volts. And this I want it actually minus 12 volts. I'll just say minus 12 volts. You can also choose 50 volts, doesn't matter. V in 1 and V in 2, I need to choose, so I'll give, say, uh, 2 volts. And 2 volts, and this is also, let's say, 3 volts. I'll give here 3 volts. Fine. So, so we have V in 1, V in 2, and V out. So, I can simulate this. So, you can just give the stop point as 1 second. Obviously, I'm not going to make any transient analysis now you can just keep the mark over here okay we have not connected one of the points so let me do that connection take the wire and ground is not connected for this supply yes. all these are connected now okay so let's simulate again so let me keep this point here that is V in 1 which is 2 volt and V in V2 is 
three volt here and we get V out. Obviously, according to the theory, it should be minus five volts. We can see here our answer is almost equal to five volts, which is 5.02 I'm getting here so that is actually the results so this is how we can simulate and I can demonstrate how we could uh, give inputs V in 1 V1 and V2 and get a inverting sum we are adding these two signals so it doesn't matter here the negative supply has to be equal and uh, we in can be anything unless and until it doesn't saturate to plus 12 volts. So um, coming back to the theory here, so I can actually change a different value for this R2, R3. As per this schematic here, it is given as 1K. So let me try it for 1K. So what I will do is I'll go here and I will re-edit the values. So here R3 should be made as 1K. So I'll just make it as 1K. So this is 1K now. Now if you simulate it again, as you can see, now things have been changed. So now it comes up to around 2.25 volts. So I can just cross check it by, so it is actually working as per this formula. So here it is uh, 2K, that is uh, uh, 2. Uh, 1k by 2.2k and 1k by 2.2k will be multiplication factor to these inputs and they are added. So that is how this can be simulated. So that's it.